Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football, Lincoln Riley, USC land, <laughs> literally a monster commitment in the 2025 class coming from 6'8", 370 pound offensive tackle Elijah Vacona from the state of California. I think a lot of the USC fans who've been rocking with the fellas the last couple of weeks and months know what I'm going to say, and that is you bet on these kind of guys on the offensive line. And these kind of guys who are 6'8", 370 pounds, they have the length, the frame that Elijah Vacona does. They do not grow on trees. Is Elijah Vacona a guy that steps onto USC's campus and is a day one starter at the offensive tackle position? No, he's not. But he's a guy that has a phenomenal upside at that offensive tackle spot. And there's a, at least in my mind, you know, a pretty strong track record with these kind of prospects that aren't necessarily the best football players coming out of high school, but have all those traits to have a lot of success at the collegiate level. You take a look at former Ohio State offensive tackle Dewan Jones, who was coming out of high school very similarly ranked to Elijah Vacona because, again, he wasn't necessarily – the best football player coming out of high school was still growing into that frame. He was 6'8", 360 pounds at the high school level. What happened to Dewan Jones developed into a, a top three round NFL draft pick, a very similar prospect, Daniel Falele, another guy that, you know, kind of just flew under the radar because he wasn't necessarily a polished offensive line prospect coming out of high school, but had some of these freaky traits he was also an NFL draft pick. And so there is a track record with these kind of offensive linemen, the offensive linemen that just have massive, massive frames and size to have success at the collegiate level. I think Elijah Vacona could certainly fall into that category. Really excited to get into the film. Kind of a intriguing prospect that you can see the upside. And obviously needs to clean some things up before we do. And as always, just want to say thank you to you guys, to the USC fans been a blast breaking down these commitments. Unfortunately, I don't have my USC commitment sweatshirt. It's in the wash. Appreciate you guys more than you know for rocking with it. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Elijah Vacone. I think one of the more intriguing things that you see about Elijah is this is a kid that only started playing football during his freshman year of high school. I would guess that he walked into his high school. That football coach who was probably teaching, teaching social studies saw him and said, hey, we got to get you on the football field. He's been playing for the last three years. Again, still a raw prospect in terms of the technique and some of the footwork aspects of the game, but a guy that you kind of check a lot of boxes in terms of the frame and the size and the length that he has. And one of the things that you know, fascinates me on the film as we get into it is when he's engaged with opposing the defensive linemen, I mean, he's a guy that just overwhelms people with the size that he has. Now, I think what you're looking for is how can we better consistently get your hand placement and your footwork to a point where you're consistently getting engaged with defensive linemen? Because if you can get to that point, you're a guy that's going to be so hard for defensive linemen to deal with, right? You see, taking a look at this one right here where it's, we're just going to overwhelm this defensive lineman with the size. When he gets his big hands and long arms and imposing frame, engage with defensive linemen, it is really hard for defensive linemen to deal with that kind of size. I think when you kind of throughout the film say, we got to work on some more consistent footwork so we can get engaged a little bit more often, get better with the hand placement. You see here, not necessarily getting engaged, but because of that size, he's just moving people off the line of scrimmage. I mean, he's got some serious power in his hand and it shows some nice pass pro at times as well. Very similar circumstance when he gets engaged with defensive linemen, again, gets the big hands, that length on you. It's just impossible to get disengaged with. I think right here you see a really good pass pro rep. I think the biggest question mark you have with Elijah Vacona is what does the footwork look like? What does the athlete look like? This is a guy that's 6'8", 370. He's not going to be – a phenomenal athlete with his footwork, but he doesn't need to be giving his size. Very similar to Dewan Jones, who had kind of funky footwork at Ohio State, but he's just a different kind of offensive lineman that doesn't need to move his feet like a 6'5", 310 offensive lineman because they're just different body types. You look here, pretty solid footwork. And again, when he gets hands on defensive linemen, he just kind of eats him up. You just get engulfed by the sheer mass that he has. Some really solid footwork. He can operate in space a little bit too. This was another thing that I really liked. And when you were watching the film, I mean, one, look at the big dog getting out 
more importantly, when I was watching this film, <laughs> that kid looks like he's my size going up against somebody that's probably three times the weight. Doesn't seem fair, isn't fair. But I like to see Elijah Vacone, I mean, get out in space, show a little bit of that athleticism, which, again, is probably the biggest question mark that you have about his game. I think this is a fascinating get with an offensive lineman with some big-time upside. And you look at USC's class in 2025, and obviously there's a lot of chatter from a lot of national media talking heads about USC, what they're doing on the recruiting trail. I think a lot of USC fans who I engage with on Twitter and in the comments section, I think you guys have it right. That is, USC is a program that you can recruit at the highest level with. Uh, there's no question mark about that. This is still USC. It sells itself. But one of the things that USC needs to get right in terms of getting back to those top five classes in the country, one, obviously recruiting the state of California. I've been banging the table for that for the last couple of months. But I think more importantly, you got to show winning at the highest level, but I think developing at the highest level as well. You look back at USC specifically under Alex Grinch on the defensive side of the football. That's not a program that if you're an elite defensive player, you want to go to because you haven't seen a lot of defensive players get developed to the highest level under Alex Grinch. Now, I think we all believe that Dan Lynn, Coach Henderson, Coach Entz, they're going to get that right you'll see the recruiting come back up when this new coaching staff shows that they can coach up players and kind of put out elite defenses. So I think USC fans are right. If you kind of take care of business in 2024, show that you that this is a program that you can win at the highest level and get developed at the highest level, this program is going to sell itself. We'll continue to keep you guys updated with USC on the trail. Again, appreciate y'all rocking with it. If you guys do enjoy the content, Consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. We'll talk to y'all later.